Hello, this is Wade Elliott, President of Utility Supply Group. We get questions from time to time on, is 208 volts 240 volt? Is it just a low voltage of 240 volt? The fact is that 208 is not 240 volt. A little bit of history here. Power supply companies like to supply three phase power. It's more efficient for them to do so. And they'll typically supply it to you in what's called a 208 volt Y configuration. Whenever you see something like that, that means that it's being supplied to you in three phase, 208 volts, and that 208 volts is measured from phase to phase. I realize that's a little bit in the weeds, but keep that in mind for a second. 208 volts, Y phase to phase, when you configure it inside of an RV pedestal, will look like 120 volts because it's me measured from phase to neutral. If you get out your electrical engineering textbooks, you'll find that the difference between 208 three-phase power and 120 volt single-phase power is the square root of three. So if you take 208 divided by the square root of three, you'll find out it equals 120 volts. I won't get into that calculation, but that's how it works. The difference between phase to phase and phase to neutral. You can take that 208 volts and turn it into 120 volt power for your 30 amp supply or 240 volt for your 50 amp supply. When 208Y power comes into your park, it'll come in in three hot wires plus the neutral. You take and measure from one hot wire to neutral will be 120 volts. But if you take from one hot wire to a second hot wire, it'll measure 208 volts. Complicated reasoning, but it's actually fairly simple. In your park, you're going to use hot to neutral, hot to neutral, or phase to neutral, phase to neutral. Same, same terminology here. You're not going to measure from phase to phase. So phase to neutral, 120 volts, phase to neutral, 120 volts. So if they supply three phase power to your site, you're going to take two of those three phases, hook them up phase to neutral, phase to neutral, you'll have two 120s to make your 240 volt. In three-phase power, they call it phase A, B, and C. So the first pedestal, you may use phase A and B. The second pedestal, you may use phase B and C. Third pedestal, you may use phase A and C, thereby balancing your power. Are all three phases in phase? No, they're not. All three phases are actually 120 degrees out of phase with each other. So if you had somebody in your park with an oscilloscope hooking it up to all three phases, you'd actually see three sine waves on their oscilloscope. It doesn't matter to your RV site or your RV or your, or your customer, they're getting two 120s in their 50 amp. In an RV, there's nothing actually that is 240 volt. Everything in an RV is 120 volt, phase to neutral, phase to neutral. This is Wade with Utility Supply, Good day.